When we used to play for like the school, it would always be on this pitch. It brings back a lot of memories. I actually scored some bangers actually on, the, on this pitch over here. Back when I was young, you couldn't start playing until under sevens. My brother was two years older than me, so he was under sevens. And obviously I was under fives at the time, so I couldn't play for a team. But I started playing for my brother's team. Highgate United, from family used to say, I just used to obviously you know, like run the show and I was only five at the time. Where we are now is the pitch that I used to play on when I was a young child. I'd never thought Truthfully, I'd be where I am now, and, and that's why sometimes it's so nice coming back to places like this, just to reflect on how far I've come. My dream was always to play for Aston Villa. I wanted to play for Aston Villa. It was, you know, to become Villa captain. I became Villa captain. Then it was to play for England. I played for England. Then it was to obviously play in a major tournament, and I played at the Euros. And then now it's to play in a World Cup. My family have always have always been there for me. The way my mum and dad are, you know, they just would have done whatever I wanted to do, you know, for me to be happy. Luckily for me, uh, I'd always just had a ball at my feet. My mum would always be, you know, going mad because I'd always be smashing stuff in the house. But my dad, you know, just encouraged it really. You know, like when you were young, you'd go for an away game when you were like under eights or under nines. Like I used to say to my dad, oh, come on, like, let me go on the coach with my friends. And he'd always be like, nah, come on, because I'm coming, so it'd just be me and my dad driving. And he'd come to everywhere, honestly. And, um, and yeah, it just set our relationship up, really, for like for the rest of my life, and that's why I'm, I'm so close to my dad now. Milo, what's this? And he's scared of it, he thinks it's a rabbit. <laughs> well, first of all, the pitch used to be over there in the corner, just beyond that dugate. I would say he was about five then, four and a half, five, and he was playing with like six, seven-year-olds. He had a couple of seasons here, and uh, next minute Aston Villa picked him up, and the rest is history, as they say. I mean, he, he couldn't wait to get going. I mean, he'd be for the first one up in the morning, getting ready, getting his boots ready, getting coming down. I wanted to get there on time, and just couldn't wait to start kicking the ball. I never ever used to say to Jack, "Come on, you need to do this. You need to work harder. You've got to get better. Got to get better." And I think sometimes some dads do too much of that. My dad always put his arm around me, you know, and I think that's the way I've, I've grown up to the player that I am today. I feel like I play better when I have a manager, you know, putting his arm around me. I've always had an interest in fashion. I've always, you know, took care and, and took pride in what I wear. Obviously, you know, not everyone's always going to like what you're wearing, but I think, you know, whatever it is, even if it's like a statement piece, as long as you, you own it, you know, and you, and you wear it nice, I think you can, you can pull anything off. This was my secondary school, St. Peter's. You know, every time I was in class, all I wanted to do was just play football, whether that be at playtime, at lunch, or, or obviously after school as well. But yeah, I only ever had one thing in my mind that I wanted to do. Hello, what's happening? Who am I playing for then? Are you okay? Yes. You're right. I'm not watching again. Does someone want to go and go? I'll take a pen. Yeah, yeah. Feel under pressure, yeah. He's ready, yeah. I love growing up in Solio. Even now, I'm. I'm 27 and I just, I don't know, I just don't want to get too old too quick, you know, because I had such a good childhood. You know, I've been so fortunate and so blessed, you know, to have such such supportive family and, and such a good upbringing. Um, I never really wanted it to end, if I'm, if I'm honest. I think Solihull will, will always hold a special place in my heart. <laughs> 